Hi guys, welcome to my channel. It's Rhea Jade. So this is my first YouTube video. So make sure you guys like and comment and subscribe. And if you know me, make sure you share. Or even if you don't know me, make sure you share. So this is gonna be a long one. So settle in. I just wanted to do kind of a, all of my favorite products type of video and I've got some skincare some makeup I've got some just lifestyle and beauty products that I want to share with you guys so without further ado let's get started okay so I'm gonna start with skincare um, most of these products are drugstore products I have a few high-end products but most of them are um, drugstore products because I'm on a budget. Um, the first thing I'm going to start with is cleanser. I've been really loving these makeup wipes from Walmart. Um, they're like a dollar, but they, they do a really good job of taking all your makeup off and not drying your skin out, which is something a lot of wipes can do is dry your skin out. So I'm really loving these here lately. The next we have toner. And this is like the cheapest toner you can ever buy, but it is so good for a toner. And it's just normal witch hazel that you can get from the grocery store or not the grocery store, <laughs> the drugstore or Walmart or just any normal store you can get witch hazel from. And it's just very soothing on the skin. It takes away redness. It helps tone your skin. So yeah, I have two moisturizers. These are the minis. I have the full size of these, but these are just the minis because they're easier to like set out with all the stuff. The well, first one is the Boschia. I don't really know how to pronounce this, but Boschia Cactus Water Moisturizer. And the Belief, uh, Belief, Belief Moisturizing Balm. These are so great. Now, my skin is normal to dry, but mostly dry. So, these are really great if you have dry skin like I do, and they're just awesome. I love them. Now I have an eye cream. This is the e.l.f. Illuminating Eye Cream. If you put this on before you go to bed, your under eye area will just be so bright and fresh looking in the morning, and it's great. This stuff is so cheap, too. Um, I've really been loving these two skincare products as well. This is um, the Formula 10.0.6. It's a charcoal pill-off mask. And it will just leave your skin looking so smooth and blurred. And you can get this at Ulta, and it's great. This I actually got in an Ipsy bag. Um, and I was like, this looks a little weird. It's sweet potato pigment, but it's a lip treatment. And it's like a chapstick kind of type thing. But, oh, excuse me, that was very ladylike, Rhea. Whoop. Um, it's like a lip cream. I'm not a lip cream. I cannot talk today. I suck at this. Jesus, it's a, like a chapstick kind of. So it's the Dr. Lips chapstick, pretty much. And it just leaves your lips looking really smooth. And it's good to put on right before you put on like a matte lip, a matte lip that tends to like dry out your lips a little bit. So, all right, so now that's all of my skincare. Let's start with our makeup. First, like I said, I have dry skin, but I also have large pores, which is a very rare combination of skin types to have. So my two favorite hydrating primers, I usually go in with a hydrating primer and then I go in with a pore, pore refining primer on top of it. My first one is the Laura Geller Spackle Hydrating. This is a little expensive, but this, this tube right here has, but this tube right here has literally lasted me over a year. So it's well worth the money. And then the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer, Primer Plus Moisturizer in one. This stuff is amazing. Like this stuff is so different from any other primer I've ever tried. It's just, it's really great. And it's really hydrating and your skin will just look so glowy. And it just gives you a good base to put your makeup on. Now, my favorite pore refining primer is the Dr. Brandt pores no more this stuff is really expensive but i have never had a primer due to my skin what this primer will do to your skin talk about looking completely blurred like you have used facetune that's what this primer will do for you now if i would need my makeup to stay on all day like more than six or seven hours this is the go-to primer for me it is the original the oldie but goodie the og smashbox original photo finish this stuff will make makes my makeup stay on for about nine to 10 hours um, and look like I just put it on. So with that being said, 
This is one of my favorite primers. Um, for my eyebrows, um, I actually have a hard time being a redhead finding an eyebrow product that is like auburn, like true auburn, not brown, not dark brown, but like truly like red, like ginger colored. So if you're a ginger like me, this, this is for you. This is the ColourPop Brow Boss Pencil in the shade Auburn. And as you can see, it perfectly matches my hair color perfectly. And I also have their brow gel, the ColourPop Brow Boss Gel, and it's a clear gel. But your brows will not move when you wear this. Now, my favorite foundation here recently has been the Makeup Revolution Foundation Sticks. I'm in the shade F4 for my face, and then I also use the shade F13 to contour. So these are really, really great. Now, they're a little bit on the drying side, but as long as you have that hydrating primer underneath it, you're golden. Um, now, for concealers, I have a drugstore concealer and a very high-end concealer. My drugstore concealer is, this is actually a dupe for Tarte Shape Tape. Yes, I said it. The OG Sharp Tape. The, the the OG Tarte Shape Tape. This is the e.l.f. 16-hour camo concealer. It is so full coverage, so blendable, but so lightweight, and it lasts all day. It is so good. And I'm in the shade Medium Peach. Now, my favorite high-end concealer, I use this to carve out my brows and to prime my eyelids before eyeshadow. This is, you can see it's very worn. This is the NARS... Uh, soft matte concealer and i'm in the shade chantilly now this is expensive but this right here you see i still have a bunch left has lasted me over a year because such a little bit goes such a long way so i love this concealer now for for powder foundation this is actually a setting powder but i'm so pale i can use it as a powder foundation this is the makeup you can see it's very loved <laughs> this is the makeup Revol revolution bake and blot powder in the shade lace you can see it matches my skin tone perfectly so it's supposed to be a setting powder but i use it as kind of like a powder foundation it is so lightweight on the skin it doesn't feel cakey it doesn't look cakey and i i was really surprised with this powder i'm very 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 shook by this powder i've been using it every day and i love it a high-end setting powder that i love is the cover fx perfect setting powder if you are a dry skinned girl this is your setting powder, I'm telling you. It is just so blurring, so lightweight, not cakey. It's actually kind of hydrating, so that's a good thing. And now a drugstore setting powder that I love. I just love this packaging, too. Like, look at the packaging. I love it. Um, is the Makeup Revolution Pro Translucent Pressed Powder. So I love this. You can see it's just white, so I really just use it to, like, brighten up my under eyes or, like, set my nose right here when I have to wear my glasses. But it's really lightweight, it's not cakey, and it's awesome. Sorry my camera shut off, but we are back, and we are back with eyeshadow. Now, I am a huge fan of Morphe eyeshadows. They're pigmented, they blend so well, and they're so affordable and so cheap. So, ah, if I could open it. This is the Morphe Artistry Palette, 35V Palette. This is one of my favorite palettes because I use mostly these give me fall vibes. So I use these in the fall and it's got all these great shimmers. And then you've got all these warm, colorful, like art tones as well. So I love, love, love this palette. But here recently, a palette I've been using every single day and is so easy to travel with is this tiny Morphe Artistry palette, the 9T palette. Can we just take a look at this big mirror? Like, yes. And these shades here you've got the perf they're like the perfect combination of cool and warm they're like they're they're perfect neutral tones and then of course you've got a black and you've got two shimmers up here this gold is beautiful right here I tried it the other day and I've been I have not been able to put this down I've picked this up almost every day that I wear eyeshadow here lately and I've been loving these NYX they're kind of like eyeshadow toppers they're glitter and this is my favorite one in the shade industrial and it's been great 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 you do have to be a little bit of careful you get a little bit of fallout with this but for the price point it's very very great now i have two favorite liquid eyeliners this one's by the the brand essence which as you know is a very cheap brand but they are coming for y'all like i love their lip liners their eyeliners their mascaras are great and you can get them at ulta and this is a liquid line it's a felt tip so it's great for wings it's not too wet, it's not too stiff, perfect for a wing. 
And I, I've, this is an oldie but a goodie, but it's the e.l.f. liquid liner. It's the OG. I still stand by it. I use this for my waterline when I do an everyday makeup. And this by Essence as well. And it's just a creamy, um, it's the shade Silky Nude. And it's a long-lasting coal eye pencil. So you can see it's just like, yeah. It's great. I love it. I use this on my waterline. My favorite mascara right now is Elf is coming for y'all. I'm telling y'all, Elf is in the game. Um, this is the Elf 3-in-1 mascara. Look at this wand. Can we, like, talk about it? It's so good. It separates your lashes. It's very, very black. It's very good for your bottom lashes as well. I love this mascara. Now, these are my favorite lashes. You can get them at the drugstore. Um, I'm wearing them right now, so you can see they look very natural. But these are the Kiss... Ever Easy Lashes, and the, the style is, I'm not sure what the style is, it's just a multi-pack, but they're wispy, see how they're shorter on the inside and longer on the outside, I love it, and they're just very natural, they're not too big, but they do help your lashes look fuller and longer, and as you can see, they're, they're very natural and very pretty, very affordable. Okay, now let's do some brushes. <laughs> I stand by the original Real Techniques Beauty Blender. It's dirty. Sorry, I need to clean that. That's embarrassing. Um, so there's the Real Techniques Beauty Blender. You're going to hear my dog barking. I'm sorry. He's old and deaf and he barks at everything. Another brush by Real Techniques. I've literally had this brush for four years. It's the uh, Real Techniques Powder Brush. This thing is the bomb.com for bronzer. Like thebomb.com is so good now i have a bunch a bunch 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 of morphe brushes here um i love morphe's eyeshadow brushes of course i love this morphe concealer brush now i got all these in a set so i don't know the number of them the only one i know the number for is i have an m441 here and they're all just blending brushes of different sizes and then this is a concealer brush that i love and then I have the Morphe M439, and I put my foundation on with this. I love it. It's just very dense, but not too dense, and it's great for foundation. Morphe's brushes are so affordable and so good. Now I have two e.l.f. brushes that I love, love, love. I use this one for blush, and I use this one to set my under eyes. Um, it's just a big, fluffy blending brush. I love these. e.l.f. is really coming for y'all, I'm telling you. And I got this brush in an Ipsy bag. I don't know the brand. I don't know what it's called, but it's really pretty. And I use this for highlighter, and it is super duper great for highlighter. All right. My favorite bronzer is a drugstore product. It's the Maybelline New York City Bronzer in the shade 300. Um, it's just very warm. It's very warm toned. But I love a good warm tone bronzer. It just does such a good job of warming up the skin. It's so blendable. It's so pigmented. You only need a little bit of this, and, and it's great. Now for blush, my favorite blush is the Maybelline New York Fit Me Blush in the shade Peach. Again, it just gives a nice warm glow. It's got like the slightest little shimmer to it, so it gives you like an, an all-over type glow type thing. And I've been using this blush for two years now, and I have not used another blush, so it's great. My two favorite highlighters. What I like to do for highlighters is I like to go in with a liquid highlight and then a powder highlight. So for liquid highlight, I like the Makeup Revolution Jelly Highlighter in the shade Prestigious. It's great. You do have to work a little fast with that because it dries a little fast. But as long as you work quick, it's awesome. And then the Makeup Revolution Highlighter shade in Just My Type. This is perfect for fair skin. I know my pale girls have a hard time if you're like me. Ah, my shirt is malfunctioning. You have a hard time finding highlighters for pale skin like me. Yes. So this is the perfect mixture of gold and pink and white. And it's just perfect for pale, pe bleh, for pale skin. <laughs> it just looks so nice on the skin. And it looks great. It's great on the skin. And it's, it's just so, so beaming. As you can see, I'm wearing it right now. And it's just... I used to swear by the Mineralized Skin Finish by MAC, but now this is just is such a dupe, so much cheaper, and just as good. Moving on to lips, my favorite everyday lip liner is um, 
this by Essence as well, and it's the lip liner. It's in the shade Deeply Intoxicated, and I do overline my lips, so I like to use a darker lip liner, and so I use this for my nude lips that I do, and it's great. It's like $3 at Ulta, and like you can't beat that. It's so good. It lasts all day. Um, I have a couple favorite nudes. Right now, uh, my two favorite nudes are the Makeup Revolution Soft Matte Lipstick in the shade Cashmere. And look at this packaging. So cute. It's just the perfect neutral nude. And this one's really dirty. It's really used. But the Milani Matte Lipstick in the shade Innocence. This is more peachy than the other one. But it's you can see it's loved. It's almost out. It's so pretty for fair skin. Like, these are both beautiful nudes. My favorite red lip that I can't seem to find right now, and I'm really upset about it, is the NYX Matte Lipstick in the shade Eden. It's just the perfect, like, red lip. It makes your teeth look really white. It lasts all day. It doesn't transfer. It doesn't smear. And it's it's my favorite, but I can't find it right now. But it was worth mentioning. Another one of my favorites right now for fall, like this lipstick just gives me such fall vibes and it makes me like so happy and warm inside, is the uh, Milani Matte Lipstick in the shade Beauty. Can we just look at how like, it's like a very warm, like rusty brown and it's so, so, so pretty. These lipsticks are a great formula. They're very moisturizing. They're more of like a soft matte, like they're not drying. They don't make your lips look cakey. They're super nice. My favorite lip gloss of all time is the Bare Minerals lip gloss in the shade Forbidden. It just makes your lips look so plump and juicy, but it's not like super shiny. Like you're like, whoa, it's, 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 it's just great. It's awesome. I love it. Okay. I have, <laughs> whew, I'm out of breath. Get it together, Rhea. You're so annoying. Whew. Okay. I have five setting sprays. Okay. My, the most expensive setting spray that I use is the Laura Geller Spackle Mist. Your makeup will not move. It is a little bit drying, like it'll dry down on your face a little bit, but your makeup will not move. Then, this is my favorite setting powder, or setting powder, setting spray. This is the Cover FX Illuminating Setting Spray. If you want to glow, honey, spray this all over your face. And I've really been loving this lately too. This is the Morphe setting spray. When you spray this on your face, all of your makeup will just melt together beautifully and look like one product. It's great. And this, I wore this the other day and my makeup stayed on for 12 hours. So that's great. An oldie but a goodie, two oldies but goodies. MAC Fix Plus. I'll always stand by MAC Fix Plus. This is the first setting spray I ever bought and I still use it. It's great. And one of my favorites is the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. I'm almost out of this, which is really sad. I just spray this on my cheeks and you will glow to the gods. It's it's great. All right, guys. So that's it for skincare and makeup. I know it's been a long video. I'm going to try to edit it down just a little bit. Um, thank you for hanging in there for my first video it means a lot. Now I've just got some like hair products and some, just some lifestyle products that I've been loving. I've really been loving this dry shampoo lately. I wash my hair like once or twice a week. So like dry shampoo is my best friend. This is the Not Your Mother's Beach Babe, but it's texturizing dry shampoo and it's toasted coconut scented. It doesn't go on with a white cast, which is annoying for dry shampoo. You know what I mean? Like where it leaves the white in your hair. It doesn't do that. It smells amazing and it will give your hair volume and texture, which is what it's supposed to do. But it's great and it's very, very affordable. This lotion, I have been loving, la, la, loving, is um, the Aveeno Active Naturals Calming Lavender Chamomile Lotion. If you put this on before bed, like your skin just feels so good and you feel so relaxed and it will help you go to sleep and relax and calm down and it smells amazing it smells so good another body oil i've been really loving lately is this Jose josie marin whipped argon oil in the scent fresh grapefruit oh my god it smells so good it is the best smelling body cream i've ever smelled in my entire life it smells so good and this perfume I've really been loving is from Old Navy, actually. I didn't think that they sold perfumes. It is the brand Kindred Goods. 
and I'd never heard of this brand, but someone was spraying it in Old Navy when I was buying jeans. And it smells so good. This is the scent Orange Blossom and Tea. It just smells so good. It's not overpowering. It's so light. It's very feminine. Um, that is so good. It's great. It's great. And I didn't bring this product in here, but I've been really loving lavender essential oil lately. Like just any lavender essential oil, I'm putting it in my bath, um, in my bubble bath, and just feeling so relaxed. And then when I get out of the bathtub, putting that lavender chamomile lotion on, and you just feel like so relaxed, like you're wrapped up in a big warm blanket, and it is just the best. My last product is a lifestyle product that I've really been loving. This is a candle from Bath and Body Works. It's in their fall collection, and it's in the scent Chestnut and Clove. Oh my God, it smells like Thanksgiving. It is so, I actually went in to buy a different candle. I went in to buy a different candle I was gonna buy, and then I just fell in love with this one even more than the one that I was gonna buy. And it just smells so good. And it's not overpowering, but it will scent your entire house. Like I've been keeping it in my living room, in the front room of my house, and I could smell it in the bedroom in the back. It just smells so good. It's it's great. And um and it lasts forever. Like I used it for like six hours the other day, and you see it's like barely used any. So it's worth the money. Well, guys, that's it for my first video. Just showing you guys some of my favorite um products and things like that um i hope you guys really enjoyed this video um i'm nervous i'm nervous this is a new adventure for me but um just comment like subscribe share all that stuff make sure you turn on the little notification bell and i will definitely be back for more hopefully with a better camera better lighting better background situation we hope um, cause I feel very basic bitch right now, but that is it. I'll see you guys later.